documents. Yeah. We'll keep them in the camera. Let me call you back in the field. Have something to take care of. What is this? I think you should read it. You don't have time to snitch. Tell me what it is. It's the latest from Saving Grace. Nobody was supposed to know about this. So how did she get a hand on it? I don't know, but we'll find out. My hunch, it's your cousin's ex-wife. I thought we silenced her completely. You can't completely silence a bitter woman. Especially one as greedy as Nana, who thinks you cheated her out of a lifetime of wealth. There's only one way to permanently shut her. Just say the word and I'll personally... No, Nick. No. I would not have another blood on my hands. Not another. I refuse to be the man I used to be. Listen, this is a new era, okay? An era of honesty, service, and transparency. I want to win this election. Nothing otherwise. I just thought we needed a more permanent solution to the likes of Nana. Sorry if I offended you. Stop it! Don't play sentiments with me. Don't. You didn't offend me. I just thought I'd remind you of the rules. Oh, I didn't forget the rules, Stone. I was just checking. For what? To see if the stone is still as hard as it should be. I want saving grace before the party this weekend. And I don't care how you do it. Just do it.
morning, Nancy. Good morning, Miss Jackie. Oh, I'm expecting a package today, so can you bring it to my office as soon as it arrives? Will do. Yeah, with me, then I'll take it from there. I, oh, oh my I'm so God. sorry. Oh my God. Listen, listen, hang on a minute. I just bumped into an angel. Wish me luck, man. Sweetie, you look absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you. Thank you to your mama. So, how was your weekend, huh? Talk to dad. Oh, it was great. How was yours? Mine, mine could be better if you were by my side, my love. You know how it is, you know? Brother, my heart. Response as always, but hey, that's fine. Hello? Hey, Gorgeous. It's me. Do you like it? Thank you, but you know, you really didn't have to. Hey, glad to be day. Alright, talk to you later. I got some work to do now. can't force that child on me now. I told you I wasn't ready, but you chose to go ahead with it anyway. So count me out. I don't need any complications in my life right now. And that's exactly what you have become. Yes. All right. Good work. But keep a trail on her twenty four seven. Tracy, I think you're worrying too much. Maybe there are no guys following you. This could just be your imagination. I swear, Jackie, every time you brush aside oh, my fears... Hi, welcome to everybody, guys. Here's the menu. Thanks. And you can take a look at it and tell me when you're done. Thanks. Oh, we're ready. Thanks. Every time you brush aside my fears, it makes me so mad. Just sometimes... <sighs> hey, girlfriend. No offense meant. I was just trying to alienate your fears, that's all. On a serious note, though, I think you are letting this whole thing get to you. You're doing a good job. So don't even think of stopping. At least not now. I see. Since you're now a mind reader, why don't you tell me? exactly what's going on in my mind. No, 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 Tracy. You know you cannot do that. You can't pull out just yet. Save your girlfriend. I just thought you should know. Daniels and the Lions, Daniels. You have walked right into my trap. to shoot you. Now listen, do as I say and I promise you no one will get hurt and everything will be fine. And you will nicely follow him as he leaves. Oh, 
guy. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> Why are you taking me? Someone is now to realize I'm missing. I was not looking for me. Stop this car. I pretend. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Enough is enough. <laughs> Let me go! Sorry for being such a jerk. Can we start fresh? Look, let's start fresh and... What? I'll be there in ten. I'm sorry, I have to go. What's the matter? Nothing you should be worried about. Look, I'll pick you up later. Just sexy. So. Tell me what I'm doing here. I think you have the wrong person. I don't make mistakes, Tracy. We have exactly whom we want. You. Hey, how did you know my name? Like I said, I don't make mistakes. We just need some answers. And those answers better be pleasing to us. Or else. For the past five consecutive months, you've been writing several articles under the column Saving Grace for Street Talk magazine. These articles have been very damaging to some friends of ours. We don't like it, and we want you to stop. Failure to... Wait... Before you continue, let me say this. I am not the writer for Saving Grace. For God's sake, I don't even possess the talent of a writing skill. But thanks for the compliment anyway. Can I go now? Please. Look, mister. My friend is waiting for me. And I have a dinner date later this evening. Please let me go. Shut up, Tracy. <laughs> you talk too much. Tonight, I'm in a good mood. So 
So I tell you what. I'll let you get some beauty sleep. And tomorrow, I hope you're ready to tell us what we want. Good night. Oh God. Thank you, Mr. God bless you. Your friend is waiting for you, just like you said. But it's up to you how long she waits. I thought you said you were gonna let me go. On the contrary, I am the one to go. You are to stay here. This is so unfair. I don't have the answers for what you want to know. I know nothing about saving grace. You can't keep me here against my wish. I'll sue you for every last penny. Please let me go. Please let me go. Nick only know how much you love him. This is ridiculous. He doesn't know. And he doesn't care. Don't get upset. Honey, just don't get upset. <laughs> listen, listen. Listen. Do not cry. You know what I teach you? Do not cry. It's nice. I know. It's I would at least expect him to pick up the phone. And at least call me back. Text that she's in the middle of something and that she would give me a call back this morning. Yeah. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just give her a call in a little bit. She's not picking up her calls. Why would she not be picking up her calls? This does not feel right. You know what? I'm going to give her a call now and if she doesn't pick up, then I'm going to just go out to her office and check. All right. 
Hello? Um, listen guys, I've rescheduled a meeting for 12. So everybody meet me at 11.30 in the ballroom and I'll take it from there, okay? I'll keep you abreast of Yeah, of course. Um, no one should be late, please. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Nancy said you wanted to see me. Gorgeous. Come right in. Give me a second. So. Mm -hmm. First and first, okay? I don't know how far you've gone with the programming, but I want it on my desk expressly at the end of work today. And I want to keep abreast all the details for the... Um, just one second. Sure. I want to keep abreast all the details for the um, presentation tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's most expeditious you do that, all right? Sure, I'm almost done actually. It should be finished in about another hour or two or so. That's my girl, way to go. Okay. Alright, I'll hang on a minute. We're not done yet, okay? Uh, I took the liberty. I took the liberty of getting you a little pretty dress for the party tonight. Yeah. No, Patrick, no. You cannot keep buying me gifts like that for no good reason. Jackie, I love you. I mean, that's enough reason for me. Besides, you've not given me any other opportunity to express my feeling any other way. So, tell me what I know. Listen, Patrick, haven't I told you that this won't work? I'm not looking for any relationship right now. At least not with you. So please, stop harassing me with the gifts. I won't accept this one. Besides, I have another party date with my friend, so I can't go with you anyway. If you need me for anything else, I'll be in my office. Dropped her off. Think she knew anything? No. We scared the daylights out of her. If she knew anything, she would have spilled it by now. Right. Michael wants saving grace at all costs, but without any bloodshed. So what do we do? I think it's time we pay the big shot a visit, see what we can fish out. Ah, uh, Ruben? Yes. That's gonna stay up the waters bad. Yeah, real bad. Exactly. Listen to me. These guys are getting too close. I think we should stop this thing right now and let it go. Over my dead body? No. Not after we have gotten this far. Certainly not without fulfilling the promise I made to my late cousin that that criminal murdered. Jackie, at the expense of your own life? I'm gonna bring Michael down. I will bring him down. Even if it is the last thing I do. And then I will look him in the face and tell him that I did it.
is the meaning of this intrusion to my breakfast? I'm sorry, but I believe you have some answers to some vital questions of ours. Ask your questions, and let me see if I can answer them. So you get out of my house, and I can have my meal in peace. First, we would like to know who Saving Grace is. Secondly, how is Jackie connected to your organization? Listen to me, young man. I'm a very busy person, and I have other things to do. It is true I own straight talk, but I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day administration of the magazine. As for Jackie, which of the Jackies would you be talking about? Because I know quite a number of Jackies, you know. Paul Rubin, this is very important to us. And I don't have time to play games. And neither do I have the time for this session of stupid questions and answers. My breakfast is very important to me. Shut my door on your way out. And tell Michael, I have so much respect for my late friend, his father. So I won't take offense for this early morning embarrassment and insults from his stooges. Sorry to have disturbed you on this beautiful day. This is clearly a case of mistaken identity. I am very disappointed in you, Nick. Very. I expect you to do your homework properly before taking such a drastic step. We cannot afford to make such silly mistakes. At least, not with the likes of Parubin. Now this is gonna cost me, you know that, right? I'm so sorry, Michael. I'm so sorry. I was on my way to Holland when I heard the news. And I had to cancel the meeting and fly back. When is it going to be laid to rest? Saturday. And uh, how are you holding up? I'm good. Very good, Uncle. Listen, the bill is on me, okay? Everything. Your father and I were like brothers. I know. Should you have need of anything whatsoever, do not hesitate to come to me. I'm going to have to send him an apology note. How could you be so stupid, Nick? I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. You bet it won't! And I want saving grace found. I want it found like yesterday. Bet. Get me Mrs. Morgan. Now. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Open the door. Open the door. Hurry up. Don't make me sick of That's none of your business. I can talk to whomsoever I choose, whenever I choose. That's what they call freedom of association. Do you know I became this 
basement, get rid of your body, and nobody will ever find you. But you won't. Because you need to know who I've been talking to. And if I'm dead, you will never find out. That, I can assure you. Tell your friend to desist from this adventure before it gets too dangerous and too late for the both of you. The fact that you're his in-law won't save you this time. I assure you. Hey! Tell Michael I'm not the only one who wants his head on a platter. I have a will and ally. And together, we will achieve our goal. <laughs> What's the meaning of this nonsense? No, no! What's the meaning of this insult? It's called payback. Vendetta. Until you return my inheritance. It's the next article in Saving Grace. I thought you should have the first peep. And to let you know I have more on you than you can imagine. Return my inheritance and I'll make it all go away. Just like that. How y'all doing this fine evening? So where y'all heading? Home. Jackie, home. It's Friday evening. You no, know, God's gift to lovers, you know? Why don't we all head back inside, crack a few cold ones, and then we'll take it from there, hmm? No thanks, I think we'll take a rain check. I'm available if you are. Jackie, why don't you introduce me to your lovely friends? Oh, I'm sorry, girls. That was so rude of me. Girls, meet my boss, Patrick. Patrick, meet Nana and Tracy. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Hello, lovely. Mm. You have a firm grip. I like a man with a firm grip. Mm -hmm. Chances are you're a very stable person. Well, you're probably right. I am an extremely stable person. And regarding tomorrow night, mm -hmm. I'm also extremely sweet. Oh. Call me. I'm Jackie. Oh, Jackie, baby. I will uh, see you around. What was that all about? What? Don't you know that's the guy who's been making passes at Jackie? How was I supposed to know that? Please, girls, listen. It is fine by me if it'll get him off my back. Well, he's all yours. Hey, what are you thinking about? What's the matter with you? Why are you so quiet? Are you sure? Yeah, why? I just told you you've been too quiet for my liking. And I can smell some fear in the air too. Well, this is some sweetheart. Fear is not a word that's in my dictionary, okay? I was just checking. 
I got your attention now. <laughs> How dare you? Oh yeah, you've been too quiet. I was just checking. I wanted you to talk. <laughs> How dare you? Me. Mm. And I think he knows who I am. Don't look. Do not look. Maybe he's just discovered a new chemistry. You're ridiculous. I'm gonna care less about the likes of him. You're right. And you wouldn't be caught 100 yards away from him, right? Come on, now what I'm trying to nail that bastard. Who? Oh. Don't let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, okay? I'm sorry, I did not mean to curse. Listen, I saw a gentleman with a gullible look, so I wish to go have a chat. If I take too long, just come and rescue me, okay? Just be careful, baby. Okay. Hi, my name is Jackie. Hi. Great party, isn't it? Yeah, great party. You having fun? Mm-hmm. You here with someone? Yeah, my good friend. He's over there talking to some people. Are you with anybody? Mm -hmm. not, not particularly. Mm -hmm. You know the host personally? Sort of. How do you know him? Why? Fine. Five million in addition to the mansion at Ashburn. Plus the one you live in. For one more thing. What's that? Who's saving Grace? Under one condition. Promise me you won't hurt her. I wouldn't mind his acquaintance. I mean, what would it take to get to know him? Why do you want to know all that? Why would anyone want to know the next mayor to be? Why would anyone want to know the great stone? Stone? Michael. What are you doing here? You know her? You were about to make me a promise. Yeah, hello? Excuse me. Hello. I believe I'm done talking to you. I think I 
Tony Sucker was going to talk. And? And what? What are you talking about? That's a man. Yeah, and it's my choice whether I want to do it for a price or not. And you know I'm not that kind of woman. Precisely, that's why I'm worried. What are you talking about? Listen to me, Jackie. Stop leading a man on for nothing. You might get into serious troubles trying to play him a fool. You know that? I'm not leading any... You know what? Why am I even banding words with you? Listen, I'm off and I'll find my way home, so don't bother looking for me, okay? Hey, Jackie, this is dangerous. I don't like the Look, smell of I'll this. I'll you tomorrow, okay? Meanwhile, okay. 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 take care. We'll take care of you. Are you ready to leave? Hi. Hey. I was beginning to wonder if you were coming back. I said I was going to come back. I was trying to keep my word. Try to keep your word. Hey, am I that transparent? No, it's just that most men seem to really like that phrase. Anyway, do you want to show you around? Yeah, okay. So? Before barging in on me like that. Save Grace. Or is it Jackie Richards? This is a great honor. Except you are not what I imagined. I don't know what you are talking about. Save the innocence for a more gullible fool. I don't play that. How do you know me? I mean, how... Well, if it is any consolation, I think you were a damn hard woman to find. And I'm impressed. You will make a good undercover agent. What do you want? I think it's more like what do you want? Considering the fact that you have been chasing me for the past years, for God knows whatever. Tell me, Grace. Or is it Jackie? What do you want? I think you are talking to the wrong woman. Excuse me. Not so fast. Don't you dare touch me! Or else. Or else what? I'm even talking to you. I have to go. Will you give me the keys, please? I have to go. Someone's outside waiting for me. Sit down. We need to talk. No, I need to leave. And now. Not until we're done talking. If you touch me again, 
now scream! Fine. If it makes you feel better, scream. But I know you have better brains than that. Now, this is my private office. And for your information, it is soundproof. The door is locked from the outside and it's not going to be opened until I say so. So if I were you, I'll just try and feel comfortable. Please. Nice. Why do they call him Stone? Very well then. What do you want to talk about? Don't worry. Jackie. I need you to stop the rubbish you have been writing about me in the pink. Oh, is that all? Mr. High and Mighty kidnaps me. Asks me to stop doing my job. What am I supposed to say? Okay, yes sir, I will. Fair enough. Well, maybe this didn't come out right. Let me rephrase it. I'm in a very important season in my career and your write-ups are doing more harm than good. I will appreciate it if you stop it. Listen. I don't care about your important season, nor do I care about damaging your career. Although, I'll say it was damaged long before I came onto the scene. What I care about here is the truth, and the entire truth. And so help me God, I'll stop a just cause by your command. I appreciate your passion, but I need you to understand something that I can do you bodily harm but I won't I can get rid of you without a choice without having to answer to anyone but I won't I can lock you up and throw the keys away I'm going to ask you for the very last time. And be careful with the answer that you give. Or else. So help me God. You don't scare me, Stone. I didn't intend to. I'll fight you. I will fight you with everything I have. And I won't stop. Not until my very last breath. Jackie. I can be a gentleman. And I can also be mean. How you choose to see me is your choice.
right here and right now. Because they choose not to. I'm a man of my words, Jackie. Desist from your foolhardy attempt to destroy me, or I will wipe you off without a trace. to take you home when you're ready. I've already made arrangements for transportation. Then I'll just have to follow you to make sure you make it home safe. I don't just sniff your dog on my tail, making sure I get home safely. I came by myself and I'll leave by myself. It's none of your business anyway. Who's saving Grace? Under one condition. What? Promise me you won't hurt her. Michael. That's saving Grace right there. What is she doing here? You know her? You were about to make me a promise. Anna. I believe I'm done talking to you. See, I didn't sell you out. He was smart enough to figure it out for himself. Besides, what were you doing out there? That's not important right now. Now that you got your inheritance, what's next? I'm leaving town. That's it? Hey, that's the reason I got involved in the first place. He paid me off and I promised to lay off. If I continue, I'll be asking for his trouble. And you know the kind of person we're talking about. What's going on? I really need someone to tell me what's going on right now. What's going on isn't half as important as how I feel. And that's complete betrayal. I don't understand what you're saying. Me too. Good. Because I don't understand me either. Jackie, I'm your friend. Talk to me. In one sentence, I'm confused. Initially it was Vendetta, and now I don't even know. I feel like I'm betraying my cousin. And you. Yet... I can't stop the way I feel. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're in love with the enemy? Oh my goodness. This is serious. Jackie? How could you? After all the fun I've done for you? You're gonna leave me out in the cold? This guy's gonna rape me! They're gonna make me kill me! I thought I could fight him and that I could take him down. Now I'm not even so sure I want to do that anymore. Yeah, I hate him for treating me like a cheap prostitute. What did you expect? First, you were a threat to his life ambitions. He kisses you. You don't particularly resist his charms. Whatever 
not happening out there? Yeah. Yeah, girl, tell me about it. So I started out with the intent to revenge my cousin's death. And now I don't know how I feel. I'm totally confused. First things first. I remember I told you to let go and let God. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. But you wouldn't listen. Anyhow, we serve a merciful God. And as long as you have repented of your wrong and asked for forgiveness, you are forgiven. All right? Now, let's talk about how you feel. Or rather, what you think you feel for this young man. Pastor, I don't know. I can't pin my finger on it. But I know I would not date such a man with no conscience. No, that's why I disagree with you. For if Christ had abandoned the world because it is sinful, you and I would not be talking about salvation today. We have been saved so that we, we would tell the good news of Christ's salvation to the untold. And besides, what if by divine design God has chosen you to introduce him to the real life? Pastor, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Well, you can find out. Take it to the Lord, and he'll give you directions. All right? Thank you, Pastor. Auntie Anne? Hi, Nick. How are you? Fine. And where's my little man? He's in the sunroom. I'm at a big tent. Can you tell him mommy right now? With his mother. Something seems to be troubling my younger brother, and has turned him into a stranger. It's a woman, right? What? It's a woman, isn't it? What makes you think it's a woman? Come on, Michael. I know the signs when I see it, little brother. Nonsense. Bingo! My guess was right after all. Boy, am I good. Anne, I love you too much to take offense at that. Nonsense, Michael. This, this goes like this. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, David, give me a minute. I need to speak with your mom, okay? Okay. How are you, Mabel? Listen, Mabel, you can't keep avoiding me. Have you thought about what I said? No. Why? Nick, you made your stand so clear. And I recall apologizing for assuming and expecting so much from you. Nick, I will not force you to take full responsibility over David. How much more me, Nick? How much more me? Look, I understand it was my choice to keep him here in the first place. So I accept every responsibility that comes with it. What is that supposed to mean? Like, I would not have you play the watchdog over us. I would not. Excuse me. Don't ever walk away from me. You kissed the saving grace. Ay ay ay. This is even more interesting than I thought. Hey. Wait a minute. She got under your skin, didn't she? Hmm. So, what is she like? 
Will I like her? She's nothing like my kind of woman. Yet, I can't stop thinking about her. I was with her for just 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes. And all I could think about was how to hold her in my arms. And then I kissed her. That was when I knew I lost her. So how did she take it? How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Her phone is off, she's not taking my calls. I don't know what to do. Her phone is permanently on voicemail. I don't get it, Michael. I don't quite understand. Look, I have made my decision. And if you don't like it, go jump in the lake. Go ahead. Nick, I am not your wife. Neither am I your girlfriend anymore. Michael, Michael, Michael. What am I going to do with you? You meet a woman for the very first time. Think about it. And under 10 minutes, you made her cry. So I don't even know why I'm standing here listening to this nonsense you have going on. That takes you. How dare you? <clears throat> I thought I'd go prepare something for dinner. Mabel, darling, why don't you come and give me a hand? Come on. Let's go inside, honey. Mom, he makes me so furious. One of these is I'm just gonna excavate it with the knife. My bell, you have to calm down, okay? <laughs> One minute he kisses me like he can't get enough of me, and then the next minute he tells me I'm this complication in his life that he can't even see him. I know, I know, sugar. <laughs> How am I supposed to comprehend with this? <laughs> My bell, you've got to calm down. Sweetheart, I'm so I know. confused. Okay? Are you listening to me? God knows I do. Admit it, Nick. Admit what? You're hooked. Must be a bit shooter. My car going. My car going. Why are you doing this to yourself? I mean, look at you. You're a ghost of your real self. You've lost interest in everything else but daydreaming about this girl. Why don't you go see her and sort things out? How can I face her? After I treat her like a prostitute. I made her cry. Now she won't pick my phone calls. How do you know that she will want to see me? Or let alone talk to me? Where are you going? I'll be back, boss. Just give me a few minutes. Since the day of the kiss, he has called me over a million times. I don't know what to say. This is obviously from the heart. Coming from the stone himself. But the question here is, what or how do you feel? It's him. It's him? What am I supposed to do? Hello? Uh, Miss Jackie's in the meeting right now. Can I take a message and uh, have her call you back? He knows it's me. How did you know it was me? What if she doesn't want to talk to you? 
knows we are here. What? <clears throat> this guy is something else. Sam? I understand, boss. He's Sam. What's going on here? The boss want to go on his own, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sam, give me the keys. Go take some time off. You sure about that, sir? Positive. They call me boss, but they obey you. Get inside the car, Michael. I'm going with you. Please. Besides, I have something very important I need to do. Please, please. Just a couple of minutes and we'll be out of this place. What I have to tell you is very, very important. <clears throat> I bet it is, sweetheart. Am I? Are you what? You're sweet at? <laughs> okay. Let's say I'll come over to your house tonight. I don't do nights. Let's do dinner then. I don't do dinner either. What's the matter with you? Why can't I can have a decent conversation with you for at least a minute? Because I'm not decent. If you excuse me, I'll have to leave right now. Hi, sir. Hi. Something else, huh? Quite a handful, I must say. Oh, yeah. Any idea how to deal with that? You're the man. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> How am I supposed to know? You know, though, I've often wondered why the two are always crossing swords like that. I think I know. Why? You guys are in love. And you don't even seem to realize it. <laughs> Actually, though, you know what? Watching the two of you play hide and seek like that. It's actually helped me figure out what I have to do. And what is that? Never mind. Jesus, I accept you as Lord. Jesus, I accept you as Lord. And receive the life that you give. And receive the life that you give. I am born again. I am born again. I have eternal life. I have eternal life. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks to you. I'm born again.
what do you want at this time? Tracy, we cannot continue this way. I need to talk to you. What about? Have you given my proposal a thought? No. Why? Look, Jude. I thought I made this clear earlier on. Meaning? I don't need you playing toasters with me. Thanks, but no thanks. Excuse me. Not so far, sweetheart. I have chosen to make you my responsibility. Which is not an easy choice, you know. I've made my choices. If that's not okay with you, go fly a kite. Why am I even standing here taking this nonsense from you? Well, look who's here. Hello, lovely. Hello, Patrick. Mm. How are you? I'm fine, as you can see. And if you don't mind me saying so, you look damn fine yourself. Thank you. Right. Um, you're here to see Jackie? Yes, I am. Good. So when are you going to see me? Hmm. I'll let you know. Back on that one. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Where did you fall out from? Back <laughs> from the airport. Uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd surprise you. Miss Nana Owusu in my office today. <laughs> <laughs> Great. There's a first time for everything, so don't make a big deal about it. I hear you, girl. I hear you. <laughs> anyway, you came in the nick of time. I was just on my way out to lunch. Oh. I know you must be hungry. Girl, as a matter of fact, I am. All right, good. Let me just wrap this up. How is Princess <laughs> Tracy? <laughs> She's good, girl. She's having the time of her life right now. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. It's about time. Oh, uh -huh. my goodness. Mm. Let me holler at her, it's actually. About time. Yep, let me holler at her, see if she can join us. Shall we? That's what they get paid to do. Follow you everywhere? Protect me. Haven't you heard? Except the Lord watch over the city. The watchman watcheth in vain. I have. I'll do something about it, okay? Some people trust in horses and others in chariots, but we, we will trust in the Lord our God. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Who's Patrick? He's my boss at the office. What? Are you sleeping with him? What? Why would you ask me that? Will you just answer the question? Are you sleeping with him? No. So why would he send you a text message that says, have you tried on the lingerie that he got for you? It's not what you think, Michael. What is it? Hmm. What is it? Your boss sends you a text message that says, have you tried on the lingerie that he got for you? And you say it's not what it is? What do you expect me to think? What is it then? I was going to tell you, Michael. After the rendezvous? It's not like that. You have to believe me. How could you? I thought we had something going. I thought we found something in each other. I thought you were born again. Michael! Michael! If you ask me, I think you should just go and see him and explain everything. I don't know any man that would allow another man to buy his girlfriend that kind of lingerie and not think that something is going on. I already tried to see him. He wouldn't see me. Maybe I should just talk to him. No. I'd rather you don't. At least not yet. Get him some time to cool off. Maybe he'll come around.
stay cool. Excuse me, sir. If you don't mind, this here is my car. I want to step in. Actually, I do mind. And I also mind you harassing my boss's fiance, which is the reason why we're here, to ask you politely to stay away from her. Well, um, I'm afraid I don't, I really don't have any clue what you're talking about. And who really are you guys, Amy? Oh, I didn't introduce myself. Please forgive my manners. But at this point, that really doesn't count. Because if for any reason I find you near her again, so help me God, there's no imagining what I would do to you. Right. I'm lost here. Okay? Come on, excuse my ignorance, but um, you didn't let too much out. What is this all about? Now, who really are you? Huh? Come on. I believe you know Miss Jackie Richards. Well, this here is about Jackie. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, Jackie and I go a long, long way, man. And I'm telling. And have parted ways on this blessed day. Apart from official matters. If I so much as see you around her, or hear of your continuous harassment, the next time we meet, you definitely will not like me. I guarantee it. Right. Can't wait to get my hands on you. I think you should give this a second thought. I believe everything she told me. She doesn't have anything to do with this guy. She told you. Nick, do you expect her to tell you anything otherwise? I spoke to him too. I pushed him, and he didn't sound to me like he had anything he would be willing to fight for or protect. When was this? Yesterday. And who is he? He's her boss at the office. Is he harassing her? Does he know he can get sued for sexual harassment? There won't be any need for that. I've already taken care of it. I'm sure he won't go near her again. I think you should go and talk to her. I'll be in my office if you need me.
Well, well, well. If it ain't Mr. Loverboy. Nana, what are you doing here? I think I should be asking you that question. What are you doing here? It's not your concern in the least. Is Jackie home? Hmm? Yes, she is, but I'm sure she doesn't want to see you. Why don't you let her be the judge of that? Am I in the wrong upstairs and getting her? Okay. Well, don't say I didn't tell you. Wait here. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing here? You wicked, maniacal son of a... You know, I don't even know what to call you. Jackie. Look, no. I don't ever want to see you in this house again. I don't ever want to see you again. And except for official matters, don't you ever speak to me. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. Anyhow, I'll keep these. I think this will be a good fit. They look good on you. Hello, Nick. Do you remember me? I told you we're going to meet again, right? Don't be wasting. He's a little smart. He doesn't make a wrong move. He's dead. Waste me? I don't think so. Hello, Michael. So all this drama was about Jackie. Was it all worth it disturbing my peace and all that? Sending your errand boys? Anyways, if you want Jackie, you can have her. She and all that. I'm a fabulous Negro. I can get who I want. Listen. This whole lesson, boys, is simply to prove that I can take you out when I want. So be careful who you mess with. It's funny how people look when the tables turn, eh? Let this crossbreed go. Have better game to hunt.
face these guys today, Stone. Just say the word. No, Nick. No bloodshed. You were serious. Let's not go back into the past. Okay? I'm still stone. No bloodshed. Drive. Hello. Hi, Nancy. This is Michael. Is Jackie in the office? Okay. Do me a favor. Please don't tell her I called. I want to surprise her. Bye. Nick, there's nothing to talk about. Baby, please. Don't call me that. How many times have I told you not to call me baby? How many times? Bye, Nick. Hello, Mabel. real man hmm? listen Patrick I'm trying to stay back to do some work and now you're not gonna let me everybody else has gone home closed up what are you still doing here I don't like where you're seated do you mind I do mind What are you doing with that crossbreed? What you Uh-oh. That don't look good. Hi, Mike. Yeah. Wait, what, what do you want to do? What, what do you want to do now? Damn it.
a quiet night, right? Yes. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought you out here. I guess a little, yeah. I want to ask you something really special. Okay. I want you to marry me. I want you to be my girlfriend. I want you to be my sister. I want you to be my mother. I want you to be my wife. I want you to be everything to me. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Of course I will. You like it? It's beautiful. I love it. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>